My name's Stephen Moss and I'm an author, a naturalist and a broadcaster based in Somerset. And I'm here to talk to you about one of my favourite birds, the sedge warbler. What I love about sedge warblers is their sheer exuberance of their song. They sit right out and launch into this incredible series of notes and almost trip over themselves to try to get it out. Really excitable, like an overexcited child. And it's so unlike reed warblers. Reed warblers are a bit pedestrian, aren't they? Sort of ching, 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 ching. What did Bill Oddie call it? Arthur Rhythm, whoever he was. But the great thing about sedge warblers is they're like a mad jazz musician and the notes just tumble out. I don't hear sedge warblers or see sedge warblers as much as I'd like because where I live in Somerset, particularly in my village, they're certainly nothing like as common as reed warblers. But last spring I was doing a BTO Atlas survey and I came across a sedge warbler sitting right out on a bramble bush. It's the other thing I love about them, they're extroverts. Sitting right out on a bramble bush, singing its heart out. And then it launched itself into the air and parachuted right, right down onto the bush again. A couple of months later, that little bird headed off to Africa to spend the winter. And it didn't just do it by stopping off along the way. It fattened itself up and went in two or three absolutely incredible leaps all the way to West Africa. But sadly, that's where the problem is. We're not absolutely sure why, but we know that sedge warblers are suffering on their winter grounds, like so many other animals. So I'm urging you to support the BTO's Out of Africa campaign. Because let's face it, a summer without sedge warblers really wouldn't be a summer.